hoping that change will come tomorrow in Washington, D.C. They're talking about Lyme disease. It's a bacterial infection that's at the center of an intense medical controversy. Health and Science Editor John Fowler is live in the Oakland Hills tonight with more on a story that you will only see here on 2. John? It's estimated several thousand Bay Area people have Lyme disease and most don't know it. Lyme disease is definitely here, and a walk in the woods, a tick bite, can wreck your life. San Francisco painter Susan Swartz can't recall her tick bite that says Lyme disease devastated her. Aching joints, headaches, eye pain, exhaustion, memory fog, with doctors denying any chronic infection. I really thought that I could die. Um, I found myself slipping away. Swartz says luckily she could afford her own aggressive care. If I had not had the monies to continue to get the drugs and to do the alternative work, I feel very confident that I would not be here talking to you today. Swartz helped fund a documentary by Sausalito filmmaker Andy Abrahams Wilson called Under Our Skin. It's, it's not just a movie, it's a movement. And I want the film to be part of a movement to make change. Change in Lyme disease diagnosis, treatment, and policies. This provocative documentary is to be shown tomorrow to Washington lawmakers. I was misdiagnosed for three years, five years, 14 years, 15 years, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Abuses in our health care system and insurance system um, and medical research system that were just unbelievable and that, that uh, I felt like I had to tell the story. This is an epidemic that's bigger than AIDS, and um, people don't know that. There's this controversy over what's really the disease, what the disease is really like, and I think that's why we have this problem. San Francisco physician and past president of an international society of Lyme disease specialists, Stricker criticizes the nation's leading infectious disease group, the IDSA, which, though agreeing Lyme is a problem, insists it's quickly cured. The IDSA today called the film, quote, long on emotion, short on fact. The group advises doctors and insurance companies, for example, against long-term antibiotics. Everybody's following the lead of the infectious disease people, and that's what has to change. Connecticut's attorney general has investigated the IDSA and its Lyme disease policies, and he says he's found evidence of conflicts of interest, systematic exclusion of scientists with diverging views, and misrepresentation. An IDSA spokesman today denied those charges, but said the society is setting up a new review panel to look at its uh, Lyme disease guidelines. Reporting live, Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News.